Hi, welcome to Glitter Glue and Fairy Dust. This is Amy. Today we're going to make a Christmas wreath. This is the striped black and red deco mesh from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to need three rolls. We're also going to need a 14 inch wreath form, some various flower picks, and some black and white checked ribbon, all from the Dollar Tree. Now here you can see I'm unrolling the deco mesh and I am, at one point I thought that I would put a black end on both sides, um, but once I kind of unrolled it and put it on top of each other, it didn't make enough of a difference for me to fight the deco mesh. It's always easier if you, um, if you use it in the way that it was originally rolled. It's just easier to do it that way. So I turned it all the same way and then I just stacked them on top of each other. And that's the most important thing when you're using this deco mesh like this, um, is that you keep the deco mesh in the same order that you have it stacked the entire time. That's it. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is uh, getting it together and then I'm gonna fold the ends over and I'm going to attach the deco mesh with a zip tie to the middle two rungs right next to one of the section ends. And I'm actually putting it through uh, two sections so that it won't move at all. Um, in the end, once you've got everything put together, that wouldn't matter as much. Um, so if you just wanted to do it with pipe cleaners, that would work as well. I just like the zip ties because you can cut them and it's they're gone basically. So we are going to do seven inch hoofs and we're going to attach it to the middle two rungs and I have cut pipe cleaners in half. Now the color that you use does not matter, you will not see it. Um, so I'm using silver but you could use any color. Uh, again, I take it seven inches and I attach it there now. Just so you can see, I also have the necklace mesh folded in a horizontal way, so it's folded in half, and then I um, pull it through my hands to make the poof. So there you can see, make the poof, and then attach it. Now, now I um, do look like I'm struggling with this, it's not that it's that hard, it's that the angle that I have it at to put it where you can see it with the camera does make it a little bit um, harder to do, but um, you will not. You can move the wreath form around and it'll be fine, you won't struggle with it. Um, and even if you do, it's okay, just a short struggle, you'll get through it. So I'm doing five hoofs per section and I did the math on it. Um, I'm not going to tell you how that went because I may do math weird, but we're going to do five sections and then leave one section undone so that we can put flowers in it. And I did the seven inch uh, poofs because it seems to be fairly full without being super full. Um, if you wanted your wreath to be just a little bit more full, you could do eight inch poofs. Um, but at one point you would need more deco mesh. So that's the other reason that I did it at the length that I did because I didn't want to do um, six uh, deco mesh. I only wanted to do three. So again, a little bit on the struggle bus here, but that's just because I'm trying to um, feed it through without actually looking to it, looking at it really well. But um, again, we're just always going to attach on the middle two rungs in the section. And once you've hit five poofs, then you'll go on to the next section. And you really don't have to do anything special to go on to the next section. You just go on to the next section. You just start your poof in the next section. You attach it to the next section. Now I am going to do a middle sign for this wreath. I teased it a little bit in my last video. 
um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do the middle portion of the wreath. In the very beginning, I wanted this to kind of have a deer head in the middle of it. I don't know why that felt like it was the way it needed to be, but that's how I wanted to do it. In the end, I went a different direction because of the way, uh, because of how I ended up with this wreath, but I, I'm going to show it in both ways. Um, and you can also do it with nothing in the middle. I'll show it that way as well. Now I'm showing this, um, the actual speed. I haven't sped it up or slowed it down. I'm just showing exactly the speed that it takes to do it. I'm gonna speed it up in just a second because we've now gone to the second section and we're doing the second poop of the second section. And now we'll just keep doing each section until we get to the fifth section and leave the sixth section open. Now I'm not really, um, I'm not really separating the deco mesh at all or proofing it as it were, puffing it up. I am just kind of trying to push it out of the way and then we will go ahead and fluff it after we're finished. So while I'm putting this deco mesh on this brief form, I'd just like to thank you for stopping by here today. I, For those who are subscribed and who come back week after week, thank you for coming back. And for those of you who are here for the first time, I would love to ask you if you could subscribe. Also, I do read comments and answer. If you would like to have your project shown on the channel or featured, I would love to do that. I love seeing your finished projects. You can send me your finished projects at glitterglueandfairydust at gmail.com and if you give me permission, I can feature them on a future video. So as you can see, um, the the poofs kind of start getting a little unruly towards the end and um, it doesn't look maybe as happy as the first part of the wreath did but as soon as you finish your last section and then start fluffing it you can't tell which section is which now I did the same thing to end the wreath as I did to begin the wreath I um, crimped the ends just a little bit and then I I curled them under and I zip tied it to the last um, section. Now I'm going to fluff it. So basically what I'm doing is taking, um, there's three um, pieces of deco mesh. So I'm leaving one kind of on top and then I'm pulling one out the back of either side so that it's, it's making your deco mesh wider. Um, so you always leave the top one on the top and then you just pull one side out one way and one side out another way. And you can see it makes it much more fluffy. It covers your wreath form and it makes your wreath look more full. So after we're done fluffing it, then we're going to do the, the flowers and the bows. So for that sixth section, you will need some floral foam. I just got mine from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to attach them with pipe cleaners. And I'm cutting it down into two thin pieces because I want my wreath to be able to sit up against the door and not... Um, sit out from the door. So I'm cutting it fairly thin and I'm just putting it in so that I can get flowers uh, into it. So here you can see me cutting them. So here's the greens that I used. I used some um, 
all of them from the Dollar Tree. I use some greens that are like pine bows, um, and they're a little bit frosted. And I stuck those in first. I knew that I wanted my wreath to kind of, I wanted the flowers to kind of be on the side, not the top. So I'm kind of pushing them out both sides. Now I'm going to do the bow. Now this bow, I'm going to use the entire roll. And I start with my, um, my center section. And then I just um, roll them on top of each other. I think I did these at like 10 inch lengths. Um, you can see they're not that big. I'm not making a ribbon with streamers and I'm not making too big of uh, a ribbon. But then I I, um, I use a pipe cleaner and put it in the middle and tie it together. And then I just start fluffing the bow. You're just fluffing out the little loops that you've made. And because it's wired ribbon, um, you can really um, maneuver it around. So I'm just fluffing it right now, but then once I get this bow on the wreath, then I'll do more fluffing. So I'm just um, gonna put another pipe cleaner through the middle, or I'm gonna attach it. it, looks like I just attached it with the one that was already there, and then I'm gonna fluff it. Now you can see I'm going to um, just attach one more pipe cleaner to the bow and also to the um, floral foam just to make sure it's um, in really well. And then I'm going to fluff it. Now I'm going to put flowers in next and that's why I put my greenery first and my bow on top so that I can fill in the holes with the flowers from there. Now I do pick it up every once in a while because as we all know, <laughs> when you have something laying down, it looks one way and when you stand it up, it looks another way. My face looks a lot different when I'm laying down than it does when I'm standing up. So I always kind of pick my wreath up just a little bit to make sure that the placement of the flowers and the greenery and the bow looks right from both angles. Now I'm just sticking flowers in to make it look Full. And as you can see, this is a fairly tone on tone wreath, so you can tell that there are flowers there, and it does make the wreath more full, but they all really, it all really goes together. And then I took some of these silver um, sprigs, also from the Dollar Tree, and just put a couple in at the very end. And this, of course, is all to taste. Now this is the middle oval that I was talking about. I decoupaged that napkin to this middle oval with some saran wrap and an iron and you can see that in my last video. I knew I wanted a gear on there so I'm going to uh, glue pipe cleaners to the back, um, four of them, and then I'm going to glue the deer on the front and that's how I'll attach it to the wreath. Looks like I decided I need a little bit more greenery. So here I'm going to attach the pipe cleaners to the back of this oval. And I am using full length pipe cleaners because I, you know, I need to be able to stretch it up and over the wreath form once I decide to put it in. So here it is with that in the middle of the wreath. And you can see that looks really cute and I actually really like that. Um, but I also decided I wanted to use, I found a Believe uh, ornament at the Dollar Tree and I just hung this with a pipe cleaner from its string up at the top so it kind of hangs down so that's what it looks like with that ornament in the middle and here's what it looks like on the door with nothing in the middle and I like all three for different reasons so depending on your decor or what you like the simple option with nothing in the middle may work for you I just want to thank you again for stopping by today. I love that I get to spend this time with you every week. And I will see you next week.